Hey guys, what is up? I am back with another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to remove the activation lock from any iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch in case you forgot your email and password and needed to restore the device. But before we get into that video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel because I make tons of content just like this that you definitely don't want to miss. Let's get into the video. So guys, removing the activation lock from your device is actually going to be a very simple process. As you can see here, usually it'll either say that you need to put in an email that it will display somewhere here, probably a little bit of it will be censored out. So mine actually says this one was lost and erased because I went on my Find My iPhone app and I erased it from there so that I could do this for this video. But like I said before, yours might have the email that's a little bit censored out. Either way, it will lead to the same thing. So guys, you are going to need a Windows or Mac to do this. It's going to be a very simple process to get this activation lock off though. Not going to be any huge setup or anything like that. It's going to be very easy to do and I'm going to walk you right through it. So without further ado there, let's go ahead and go onto the computer now. So guys, here I am on the PC. Like I said before, you can use Windows or Mac to do this and the setup is gonna be generally the same. But since most of my audience does use Windows computers, I will be doing this on a Windows PC. So you can see here I have the application iSalver on the desktop. I will go ahead and put that in the description so you guys can download that for yourself. And now we can go ahead and plug in our device. Okay, so I just plugged in my phone. Now you guys should have yours plugged in and we can go ahead and go into the app. App is now open and you can see, you can use this app for any of this stuff. You can use the screen lock to bypass activation. You can turn off Find My iPhone if you have this option to do this. For example, if you bought a used phone and somebody didn't tell you that it had the lock on it, you can use this for that and it's very helpful. Or if you got one that's factory reset, but like in my case, it has the activation lock screen, this would be the option that you would wanna pick. So that's what we're gonna go with today. Got my phone plugged in, so we can go in and do this now. And once you've got your device with enough power and you're plugged in and everything's set up right, we can go ahead and start. You guys can see that it'll confirm your device information. So here's all my device information. I'm gonna censor out all, obviously, the IMEI serial number and UDID, but yours will actually be real numbers and letters and stuff. So we can go ahead and start the bypass now.
Okay, and you guys can see it was successfully bypassed, and guys, I just want to let you know that it did take quite a while to get complete, so if it takes a while, don't worry. Also, it hung at 99 for a basically most of the time, so if it does that, don't worry. It's totally normal, and it will get past it. So you can see it's been successfully bypassed, and you can see it says the activation lock screen of the original iCloud account has been removed from your device. You can now use a new Apple ID and customize settings. So guys, we can go ahead and click Done now. And we can go ahead and exit out of iSolver. And now guys, we can go back to the device and set it up. So here's the whole of screen. We can go ahead and go into the device now. And let's go ahead and set it up and get to the part where you would get the activation lock. So you guys can see we have the Apple ID screen here. This activation lock is gone. So I'm not gonna put in an Apple ID right now because obviously I'm making a video. There's no real reason to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and skip this for now, but you can put this in if you want to. And welcome to iPhone, we can go ahead and get started. So on the phone here, we can see that after doing that bypass, it does come with check rain, Cydia, and files up installed. So we can go back and go into settings now. And you can see there's no iCloud account to be seen. So this iCloud is completely removed. And I'm going to show you right now that if we turn off the device and turn it back on, it is still removed. So this is gone. And here we are, it puts us back in the setup process, but it's no big deal, we can go to English. We can just go ahead and set the device back up. So you can see we're right exactly where we were before, which is a good thing. Now we can go ahead back into settings. And you can see the iCloud account is still gone and we didn't lose any data because all it did was fooled the iPhone into thinking as if it had been updated. So this is completely working and the only time you'll ever have to redo that is if you end up restoring it or updating it. And it's completely compatible with iOS 14 on devices from iPhone 5S up to the 10. So iSolver is a really good tool for this. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If it helped you out, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel because I make tons of content just like this that you definitely don't want to miss. So I'll see you guys in the next one.